Hi everybody and welcome to Hello Horror Fans episode number two. Today's episode is going to be a Blu-ray steelbook review for the 2020 release of the 1978 horror classic directed by John Carpenter, Halloween. We're going to be reviewing the Blu-ray, we're going to be looking at the steelbook, we're going to be looking at everything this package has to offer. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. Now, let's take a closer look at this Blu-ray. So the interesting thing about the Blu-ray itself, the Steelbook, is it has a slip, as you can see, that's clear, but on this slip, there's also some pieces of artwork that are kind of intriguing to me. It has a description on the back of the Blu-ray itself talking about the film on a black and unholy Halloween night years ago, little Michael Myers brutally slaughtered his sister in cold blood. Just those opening words right there make me laugh because for some reason Halloween to me is it's my favorite Halloween movie and I forget like kind of how brutal the opening scene is. But for the last 15 years, town residents have rested easy knowing that he was safely locked away in a mental hospital until tonight. Tonight, Michael Myers returns to the same quiet neighborhood to relive his grisly murder again and again and again. For this is the night of evil. Tonight is Halloween. It's fantastic description. And on the bottom here, it talks about, which on each disc, it's two discs. First disc is the 4K Ultra HD. You get the movie and special features. The special features are audio commentary with writer and director John Carpenter and actress Jamie Lee Curtis. So they got Jamie Lee Curtis for this, which is fantastic. You also had the Night She Came Home featurette, which I believe was directed and produced by Horrors Hollow Grounds creator Sean Clark. And then you have another featurette on location 25 years later. So this was for the 25th anniversary they had. On disc two, you have the TV version, which honestly, for those of you who grew up watching Halloween on television back in the day, this will bring back some nostalgia because it has those scenes that you remember seeing on the TV version, especially with Halloween 2. I love the TV version of Halloween 2. With this Blu-ray, you do get the TV version. I love having that extra footage and stuff. It just brings back a little bit of nostalgia to me because that's the way I knew this film until I actually rented the film itself I grew up only knowing about what it was like on TV there's a trailer TV spots and radio spots that's right they threw on some radio spots in this bad boy which is pretty cool they tell you exactly what you need for the complete 4k ultra HD experience it also includes a digital copy so you can take that digital copy with you wherever you choose to travel and keep a little bit of Halloween with you at all times I love this little slip cover on the side on the binding here it does have a little bit of art and the leaves continue around this slip cover I think it's really cool piece of art it's definitely something unique I've seen a few like this before but now let's get into the actual steel book itself. This thing is fantastic. It's beautiful. I love it. I wish they would create a print of this. I'm going to open it up so you guys can fully see what I'm talking about. You got Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael there. The leaves. It just screams Halloween 1978. They got the colors correct. It's, it's so good. And thank God they got the right Michael. Because sometimes on this stuff they'll, they'll throw in a weird looking Look at Michael. This is very uh, 1978 Nick Castle, you know, Michael Myers, which is great. Um, there's nothing as far as writing goes on this. So it, it, except for the binding on the side says Halloween, nothing on the front, nothing on the back. I think this would be an amazing print if they did this. I, I would definitely collect this. On the inside, you have your digital copy paper and then these are the two discs. First side is the Blu-ray itself and the second disc is the Ultra 4K HD version. Behind each of the discs they continued with the leaves. When I think of Halloween I always think of the leaves and for those of you who are ultra fans of Halloween you've probably seen different interviews including ones with Deborah Hill where she talks about how they legit had to gather all the leaves after each take because in Pasadena, South Pasadena, there were no leaves when they were filming so to make it look like they were actually in Illinois they had to get 
all these leaves and she was very protective of her leaves. She was always gathering them up, putting them in bags. So it's cool they incorporate a ton of, of leaves in here because it does give the Halloween, you know, feel, but it also just, it, it just, it's a little, I think, nod to, to Deborah Hill, in my personal opinion. Uh, Lionsgate did the release of this. This was a Best Buy exclusive. I picked this up as a pre-order. And you guys, honestly, I'm thrilled to have this in my collection. I think if you are a Halloween fan, you need this. I love steel books because they are a work of art. This is how it goes. It slides on right here. And you can have Jamie on the front just like this. Michael in the back. I think that looks kind of cool. To me, the Jamie on the front looks cool. But this is the way it's originally supposed to go. Obviously, put Michael on the front Jamie on the back but I don't know when I got it I, I was kind of messing around with it and let me see if you guys think like because it is I mean it is about Michael Myers but I think Laurie's character is you know the main focus kind of in this film only thing I wish this little area was over here so you could show up a little better if you're going to do it that way but this is the way the slip cover is supposed to be you guys can see the Halloween shows up really well on this thing. Honestly, for the price, it was $19.99. Kind of good for a Blu-ray and a digital and a 4K. Those things can get a little pricey, but it is a 1978 film. I think they did a fantastic job on this. I'm excited that I have this in my collection. I have tons and tons of releases of Halloween, and this is added to my collection. Now, I give it 10 out of 10 stars, man. 10 out of 10. It's it's fantastic. The artwork, everything on it, the special features on it, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's, it's not a box set. It's simply just a 4K and a Blu-ray, you know, together, but they did throw in some really good featurettes and special features. If you've never seen The Night She Came Home, I highly recommend checking that out. Sean Clark did a fantastic job on that documentary. You really get to see Jamie and her element and what it was like for her to prepare for the convention she did for the fans. There's also a ton of appearances from other people such as Tom Atkins and, and Charles Cyphers and all these guys who were showing up for the same convention and it's just really cool like to see these guys. They're still friends. They still hang out. They still talk. I feel like they really really captured that night she came home feature it. But that is my full review of Halloween 2020 Steelbook 4K from Best Buy. If you don't have this, get it. You'll need it. The artwork alone is amazing just to have in your collection. And this could be something you could get signed by the cast. I think it would show up very well. There's lots of places to get signed. And like I said, it opens up and it's a pure piece of art. What can I say? They did a great job. But I think that's going to do it for today's review. If you enjoyed this particular episode, please give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Hello Horror Fans. Until then, happy haunts. Goodbye. Goodbye.